Hello and welcome to another Luminar Neo update video. Skylum surprised all of us today with the latest update for Luminar numbered 1.14.0. This update includes the much anticipated Neon and Glow tool, along with the new tilt shift filter and many other exciting features. In this video, as always, we will begin by reviewing the list of updates before moving into the application where we will explore all the new updates and features. Okay, so it's time to look at the list of all the new exciting features coming with the update 1.14.0. Just like always, don't forget that if you want to see the full list of all the updates and features, visit the Skylum website directly at skylum.com slash forward what's new slash forward Luminar Neo. Now coming back to our list, let's start from the top where you're going to see the brand new tilt shift blur filter for the blur tool. With this tool, you can transform life size locations or subject to look like a miniature scale models. You can experiment with your cityscapes, landscapes, and even RL photos. Just like with the other types of blur, you will be able to adjust the amount, angle, and the position of the effect. And of course, you can also use it with the usual masking tool. Moving on through the list, you can see that the panorama stitching extension received another update with even more accurate stitching. Next update is for the background removal AI extension, which should now have even better object detection. Additionally, with the update 1.14.0, you will also get improved performance for tools like Portrait Bokeh AI, Erase Tool, and also the syncing adjustments option. Now talking to the Mac users, you should know that this version is now fully compatible with the brand new Mac OS Sonoma upgrade. And finally, let's talk about the highly anticipated Neon and Glow tool. Remember that this tool is exclusively available for the Luminar Neo subscribers and the 2023-24 Creative Journey Pass owners. It's now available in Luminar Neo and it will allow you to discover even more creative possibilities for light manipulation. You can seamlessly blend visual striking neon elements into your composition or make your subjects glow. It's perfect for adding that futuristic look to your images, creating captivating digital art or delivering impressive wildlife photos with a twist. In addition, you can apply the neon and glow effect to your nightscapes and turn them into true visual masterpieces. And finally, covering even more news, we are happy to announce that our Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle is back. With over 721 new autumn elements, it will give you the chance to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. With additional Halloween bundle, you will have all the tools you need to edit your images through the upcoming season. Moving on into Luminar Neo, it's time to look at some of the new features in this update. So first come first, we're going to look at the new tilt shift filter in the blur tool. So as you can see, we have this lovely capture of London that will work very well for us. And let's move into our edit panel where we can go into the creative section and into the blur tool. If you use this tool previously, you already seen the Gaussian motion and twisted filter. And now additionally, we have the tilt shift filter. So let's click on it. And to start, we need to increase the amount. So let's take the slider and bring it up. If you never seen the miniature effect before, what it does, it basically adds a Gaussian effect or Gaussian blur to the top and bottom of the image with a lovely gradient, making sure that it leaves a space between the two to create this look. Now we have a full tutorial on how to do that with the Gaussian blur. 
And if you want to see it, I will make sure that I will link it in the corner of the video now. However, now it can be created even easier with this simple option. So again, the first thing you need to do is to increase the amount slider. After that, we're going to click on the place blur center. Once we do that, you will see that we will get this little overlay over our image, which looks very similarly to the gradient tool. Now in the center of it, where you can see the main line, that's where our image is completely sharpened or where it looks like the original image. After that, we have two more lines above and below the main line, and that's where the blur is going to start. Finally, you're going to see two more lines at the top and the bottom, and that's where the blur is full on, depending on how much you add with your amount slider. Now you can take this little point in the center of this effect and adjust the position of the blur. So let's just position it over the bridge. And now we can also adjust the second lines. So we can just drag them up to adjust the area we want in focus. And we can also bring them down to make the area smaller. But I think for this, let's say we want to do something like this. Now we can also adjust the secondary lines. It's all up to you. And finally, uh, additional option, you can actually hover outside of the white dot and your mouse will change into these little arrows. By doing that, you can now also rotate the effect around. So you can actually adjust the direction. Now it doesn't work on this image, but I still want you to know where you find it and how to use it. Finally, using the tool, don't forget that you also have access to the masking tab, where again, using the brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, and mask AI option will allow you to apply this effect locally. And now it's time to look at the neon and glow tool. Starting with the reminder that this tool is exclusively available for the Luminar Neo subscribers and the 2023-24 Creative Journey Pass owners. Now to find the tool, you need to go into the edit module, then the creative section of your main toolbar, and here you're going to find the neon and glow tool. Now I have to say that the tool is quite complex and that's why I have prepared a full tutorial on how to use it and it will be available on our YouTube channel tomorrow. If it's already available, I will also make sure that I will add the link to it to this video and place it in a corner of this video right now. So now just very quickly to give you an idea what you can do with this tool. Starting from the top, you have a tab called Neon, Glow and the traditional masking. Coming back to the Neon, that's where we're going to be adjusting the Neon effect. You start by increasing the amount, which will make the application to scan the image and prepare automatic mask for your main subject. In our case, it's the car. After that, you can adjust the amount of the effect and then you can move to the next slider. The next slider is called Indent. By default, it's on 15. And when I take it and bring it up, you will see that the neon is basically going further away from the subject. In opposite, when I bring it down, it will get closer and then you can even make it inside of the actual object or subject. You can double click on the slider to reset it. And what we're going to do, we're just going to make it just so it looks like it's actually around the edges of the car. Moving into the style section, here you can adjust the spread of the neon so you can really bring it down and make it very defined or you can really push it and add lots of glow around the actual neon. Again, let's reset it and then let's have a look at the atmosphere slider. With the atmosphere slider, by default, it's on five and when we push it up, it basically adds a very gentle, colorful effect around the neon itself. You can see it a little bit in this area when I really push it and also here. The atmosphere slider doesn't make a huge difference, but it helps you to fine tune the result. After that, we have an option of hue and whiteness, and both of them help us to adjust the color of the neon. 
So with the hue, you already know, you can just move it around and adjust the color. And with the whiteness, you can basically bring it all the way down to make the purple or red completely strong, or you can move it the other way around and you can make the neon completely white. The creativity is unlimited here. You can do whatever you want. So let's just reset it. Let's go back to purple. And before we go into the glow, let's quickly jump back to the top of it and click on refine object. This is where you can adjust the area. Where is the neon effect applied? By default, it gets applied to the automatic section or the subject of the image, but you can also paint it in the other areas. Now you already know some of these controllers. We have the draw, erase and restore, and we have the traditional brush options with size, softness and strength sliders. So let's just adjust the size of our brush and let's make one brush stroke right here. As you can see in a moment, it creates the effect there. After that, you can click on erase and just brush over the same area and very easily remove this effect from here. Now let's say that you by mistake brush away this part of the car. To fix it, you can just very quickly click on restore and then paint over it and that will bring the original mask back. Now this is it for the neon and now we can move into the glow. In the glow, we have options of inner glow and outer glow. So let's start with the inner glow. Just like with the neon, we're gonna start with the amount. And as you can see, by doing that, we will change the color of the inner subject. So when I really push it, it's all yellow green, but that doesn't look very realistic. So to adjust this, we're going to go into the hue and bring it more closer to the neon color. So I think somewhere around here, and we can actually bring the amount down a little bit. Now, again, we have the option of the whiteness where we can make the color darker or we can make it whiter. After that, we have three more sliders. We have the brightness where we can make the overall effect brighter. We can add contrast and we can also control the background of the subject. So here we can basically take the slider and make the background brighter, or we can do the opposite, bring it down and make the background much darker. Now here in the inner effect, we also have the option of the sparkles. So let's click on it and open it. And here again, we're going to take the amount slider and bring it down. And as you can see, that will add sparkles around and inside of the subject. Now you can adjust the spread of the sparkles from very much inside of the subject to really all across your image. Just like before, you can adjust the color, maybe bring down the sparkles a little bit, bring down the amount. And there you have it. We can close the sparkles and let's go into the outer glow. Here we have a little bit less options, but again, we have the amount so we can really push it here and we can adjust the size of the outer glow so we can make it really big or very small. So let's make it somewhere around here and we're going to again adjust the color, bring it closer to the purple we've been using maybe add even more size and more amount. And here again, we can adjust the whiteness to make the purple a little bit more stand out. So we have the amount slider to control the overall look. We have the size slider to adjust the size of the outer glow. Then we have the traditional hue and whiteness to adjust the color of the effect. And again, we can access the sparkles from here. To finish it off, don't forget that you also have the option to click on refine object, where again, just like with the neon, you can choose between draw, erase and restore and adjust the size, softness and the strength of the brush and add this effect to any other area of the image. To finish it off, I want to remind you that you also have the option of the masking where you can apply this effect to the specific part of your image. 
Now, before I let you go, I want to quickly remind you about our Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle. It has over 721 brand new Autumn elements that allows you to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. With this bundle, you will get high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets to transform your Autumn images with just a few clicks. On top of it, if you get it today, you will get an additional bonus Halloween bundle, which will bring even more fun to the Autumn photography. To get the best possible price, make sure that you use the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.